thank us. I mean, thank you. Here's another brand new tune that was just wrote to Myra, I think, about 300 years ago. I think it was wrote just for Craig here called Sweet Cherry. We'll do a little quartet here. Over Jordan, and what did I see? Coming for to carry me home. A band of angels coming after me. Coming for to carry me home. Swing low, swing low, sweet cherry Coming for to carry me home. Swing low, swing low, sweet cherry Coming for to carry me home. Sometimes I'm up and sometimes I'm down Coming for to carry me home And then my soul feels a heavenly bound Coming for to carry me home Swing low, swing low, sweet cherry Coming for to carry me home Swing low, swing low, sweet cherry Coming for to carry me home Get there before I do Coming for to carry me home Tell all my friends that I'm a coming too Coming for to carry me home Swing low, swing low, sweet cherry Coming for to carry me home Swing low, swing low, sweet cherry Coming for to carry me home Swing low, sweet cherry Coming for to carry me home Swing low, swing low, sweet cherry Coming for to carry me home Coming for to carry me home Thank you. That's, uh, let me introduce everybody here real fast. On my right hand side over here, he just won the national championship on the banjo, and boy, that's a good achievement. If I could play a banjo like that, I'd get me a job with Frank Sinatra. Yes. Actually, he won the national championship. Y'all know where Pew Kips in New York is. He's in, from that neighborhood. New York sure breeds some good banjo players. Make Chris Lee make him feel bad from Pew Kips. <laughs> And on my left, here's one I don't know how many te contests on the guitar you can judge, see how he plays that thing. He's scary on it. From the hills of Manhattan, New York. And <laughs> New York sure breeze some good guitar floggers, players. Craig Vance, make him feel extra bad. <laughs> now, I think the only only feller in here that ain't from New York, from... He's from down there where the president lives, close to it, around Alexander. And he writes a lot of nice folk songs. In case you all like folk songs, we're going to do some of them on the program too. Some that he wrote. And he also was a champion on that bass fiddle because he even used a bow on it, what most people don't do, do they, except in a sympathy orchestra, right? When Doug Knight doesn't have a bow. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is Steve Joseph. Make him feel extra bad. <laughs> and, what we got to do now, this song that he's fixing to do on the banjo now starts out real slow and ugly. 
and it's mean. I don't know if I was too old to see the movie or too young, which it was. It's called The King of Oz, I think it is. Ain't that what they call it? Oh, The Wizard of Oz, excuse me. It's called Under the Rainbow. Oh, Over the Rainbow. Let's do this for those kids, too. They love it. So won't you hurt that real bad, Chris? He put, I bet you ain't heard anybody pick any better banjo and guitar than that, have you? You guys are fools. 
<laughs> I bet you ain't seen anybody have as much fun either as we do. Here's another song that's wrote in South America. Y'all know where that is. It's called T for Texas. <laughs> Close enough. Isn't it? Close enough. They claim it's South America. Huh? <clears throat> Can y'all hear everything all right now? At least. Is that too loud, Derek? <laughs> Best note of it all night, huh? See, y'all are wise. You're too wise. Well, T for Texas, T for Tennessee, Lord, Lord. Oh, T for Texas, T for Tennessee. And T for Thelma's made a wreck of me. Gonna buy me a shotgun long as I am tall, Lord, Lord. Gonna buy me a shotgun long as I am tall. Gonna shoot for Thelma to see her dance and fall. Now play that band. I'd rather drink muddy water and sleep in holly log, log, log. I'd rather drink muddy water and sleep in holly log. Than a bean and than a treat like an old dog. Well, T for Texas, T for Tennessee, log, log. Oh, T for Texas, T for Tennessee. And T for Thalmus made a wreck of me. Now play it pretty quick. Me a pill still a great long shiny bell, Lord, Lord. Gonna buy me a pill still a great long shiny bell. Gonna shoot that round you stole away my gal. Oh, T for Texas, T for Tennessee, Lord, Lord. Oh, T for Texas, T for Tennessee. And T for Thomas made a wreck of me. Now, let's just face Phil.
Well, T for Texas, T for Tennessee, la la. Oh, T for Texas, T for Tennessee. And T for Thomas, made a record of me. Thank you very much. Here's another brand new tune that's wrote about 300 years ago. It's an old western slang tune, in case you ain't heard it. I think it's wrote especially for Steve. Was it not Steve? I hear death. <laughs> uh -oh, I didn't hear what I said. Yeah. Who wrote it, though? Uh, somebody. I'm sure of that. Yeah, at least. Okay. You two timed him one time too often. But y'all ain't never heard that song, have you? He has. Say that you're a true Baby, you and I are through You two time me one time too often All you did was take my heart Break it, it yeah. break apart Well, you two time me one time too often Now there's no use in hanging around To say you're sorry now I'm no good at playing that old second fiddle Anyhow, it's too late to make amends this is where our court depends We you two times a one time too often New, and you'll regret it when I do You two time me one time too often All you did was take my heart Make it ache and break apart Will You two time me one time too often Now there's no use in hanging around To try and change my mind I found out the hard way That a man in love is always blind Well I woke up and now I see You've been playing games with me You, you two time me one time too often You two time me one time too often Now there's no use in hanging around To try and change my mind I found out the hard way That a man in love is always blind Well I woke up and now I see You've been playing games with me well, You two time me one time too often Oh you two time me one time too often B flat, yeah. <laughs> here's another, here's a tune that I wrote about 1953, a lot of people's recorded. I, when I changed the bluegrass style, put minor keys in it called New Camp Town Races. I almost told my age, didn't I? <laughs> 
I'm probably, you, you fellas are probably older than me. <laughs> At least. Thank you very much. Here's another brand new tune that wrote about 300 years ago. You probably never heard this song called Heart Dollar. I mean, Dark Holler, excuse me. <laughs> Close enough for record. I 
rather be in some dark hollow where the sun don't ever shine than to be here alone knowing that you're gone it could cause me to lose my mind so blow your whistle freight train take me farther on down the track i'm going away I'm leaving today Yes, I'm going, but I ain't coming back I'd rather be in some dark hollow where the sun don't ever shine than to be stuck in Washington D.C. in a small room with her on my mind so blow your whistle freight train take me farther on down the track I'm going away I'm leaving today Yes, I'm going, but I ain't coming back So blow your whistle, freight train Take me farther on down Track. I'm going away, I'm leaving today Yes, I'm going, but I ain't coming back Well, I'm going away, I'm leaving today Yes, I'm going, but I ain't coming back really got a bad audience here tonight. That means good now, okay? At least. Here's another song that he wrote. I uh, actually wrote it for his barn. It has these minor keys in it. He wrote an awful lot of songs, didn't he? <laughs> Have a lot of fun talking about him. You know who he means? Yeah, so you're wise. You're too wise. Yeah, we're going to count on David a little tet for you. <laughs> Is that too fast? Uh-oh, that's what I was feared of. <laughs> At least, huh? Well, David, David, Good Lord. what a shepherd boy. Good Lord. He killed a giant. Good Lord. Shouted for joy. Good Lord. Little David played on his harp. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He played on his harp. Hallelujah. How long did it rain? Good Lord. How long did it fall? Good Lord. Forty days at night. Good Lord. And it did stop. Good Lord. Little David played on his harp. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Played on his harp. Hallelujah. Well, God told Noah good Lord. to build it all. Good Lord. Forty days and nights. He was raining star. Good Lord. Little David played on his harp. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Played on his harp. Little David played on his heart. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Blade on his harp, hallelujah. Faithful Daniel, good Lord, in the lion's den. Good Lord, because he would not. Good Lord, worship men. Good Lord, little David played on his harp. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, played on his harp. Hallelujah. Well, David, David, Good Lord, what a shepherd boy. Good Lord, he killed a giant. Good Lord, shouted for joy. Good Lord, little David played on his harp. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, played on his harp. Hallelujah. Thank you. Here's another tune, one of his favorite tunes he wrote. He wrote this in here a long time ago. It's, most of these tunes we're doing is on our albums. She's giving them away tonight for about eight dollars, I think. Take you give a little, about even eight dollars. This is called Walson in Bluegrass, and one of his favorite mammon tunes. He wrote it starts out real slow and honorary, ends about ninety-four mile an hour. Then I guess somewhere around there, ain't it? At least, ain't it? Seventy-four. Seventy-four. All right. <laughs> See you, wise, too wise. Three and four. <laughs> I'm tickled now. <laughs> Boy, I feel more like I do now than I did a while ago, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
awful bad. Now, in case some of you folks like some folk music, here's one that he didn't write, but Steve wrote this nice folk song about his granddad, and it's a real true song. He's a good songwriter. And uh, you want to tell anything about Steve? No, <laughs> I didn't even tell the name of it, but why don't you tell the name of it? Well, it's called The Tall Brown Grass. Uh-oh. Trees that don't bear fruit anymore. The grapes have all died on the vine. The corn crib, the smokehouse, and the hog pen are gone. And no more coal is hauled from the mine. Up on a hill overlooking the farm, he loves so the gravestones there all along. So Monument to an old man and his wife That's all that's left of an old mountain home And 
up on a hill overlooking the farm. He loves Our so two gravestones well. there all, all along, alone. so peaceful there. A monument to an old man and his wife. That's all that's left of, of an old mountain home. Yes, the tall brown grass is aching over the farm. And the floor's all that's left of the barn. Pistol packing mama. In case you ain't heard it, what we do is we sang a little of it and we try to show this instrument off. We play as fancy as we can and as honor as we can. And we play it for about an hour and a half. You ain't no hurry, are you? If you leave, we're going to go with you. <laughs> At least. So what we're going to do is do pills for Pack and Mama and show these instruments off and get real fancy. At least, huh? Here, <laughs> Are y'all getting tired yet? Okay, we'll stay long as y'all listen to us. And we will, too. Is that too fast? Just a little bit. <laughs> Let it pistol Let it pistol down, babe, let it pistol down. Pistol packin' mama, let that pistol down. Let it pistol down, babe, let that pistol down. Pistol packin' mama, let that pistol down. We're gonna shoot you, Steve. Why well, see you every night, babe, I woo you every day. I'll be your ragged daddy if you put that gun away. Lay the pistol down, babe, lay the pistol down. Pistol packing mama, lay the pistol down. Lay the pistol down, babe, lay the pistol down. Pistol packing mama, lay the pistol down. I she kicked out my windshield, hit me over the head. Custom cries said I lied, wished that I was dead. Lay the pistol down, babe, lay the pistol down. Pistol packing mama, lay the pistol down. Lay the pistol down, babe, lay the pistol down. Pistol packing mama, lay the pistol down. The other night in Utica was I having fun Till at night she called me right now I'm on the run Lay the pistol down, babe, lay the pistol down Pistol packing mama, lay the pistol down Lay the pistol down, babe, lay the pistol down Pistol packing mama, lay the pistol down
Lay that pistol down, baby. Lay that pistol down. Pistol packing, mama. Lay that pistol down. Lay that pistol down, baby. Lay that pistol down. Pistol packing, mama. Lay that pistol down. Well, bless you. Now, here's a tune that uh, was wrote about. Actually, I'm telling the truth about this. Well, I was about the most of them, too. This is wrote about 300 years ago. Beethoven wrote it. Y'all hear to him? Okay, what we do, he wrote four tunes for the mandolin. Most people didn't know that, and I learned it from some people in California. I had to memorize 27 sheets of music to teach it to them. It's going to take about an hour to play this. Y'all ain't no hurry, are you? We'll play it extra fast so it won't take so long. Uh, Beto, he told me I had a talk with him, uh, and he said there's going to be an instrument come along in 300 years. It has five strings on it. He didn't call it a banjo. And he said he was going to make it sound like a harpsichord. And he said there's a guitar player with six strings going to come along. And he said there's going to be a mandolin player that has eight strings, and a bass player that's going to do all this stuff. And he says, now, as long as you all play as clean and clear, he says you can play my music. So we've got to do it extra good. Anytime we don't, we did it last night at the show, and we did it all right, so we get to do it tonight. Y'all didn't hear us do this, did you? We didn't play it that fast, did we? <laughs> okay, so what happens is me and Craig starts off on the guitar and mandolin, and do some of this stuff they call chamber music. Then we sort of build up, switch parts, and, and drown each other out and everything. <laughs> so call Beethoven. Oh, this is called Variations in K-flat sharpened. Yeah, that's it. D major or something. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Y'all didn't know I only learned to read music about a year ago. <laughs>
Bless you. Well, I'm glad you all liked that. We get a chance to play this at Bluegrass Festivals. At first, they didn't want to book us there when we played that kind of music. But it's, uh, if you notice what I did on the mandolin, it has a three-string roll like uh, Earl Scruggs created for the banjo. But that was rolled about 300 years ago, and it has that same roll. And it's as hillbilly, I guess, or bluegrass as any tune is. It's just simple. Hard to play, but it's easy to listen to. I'm glad you all like it. Thank you very much. Bless you. We also play some Bach and Shavosky and all those fellers, too. <laughs> I never learned those fellers' names real good. <laughs> now we're going to do a tet for you. Somebody touched us. Somebody touch me while I was singing. Somebody touch me while I was singing. Somebody touch me. It must have been the hand of my Lord. Glory, glory, glory. Somebody touch me. Glory, glory, glory. Somebody touch me. Glory, glory, glory. Somebody touch me. It must have been the hand of my Lord. While I was praying, somebody touch me. While I was praying, somebody touch me. While I was praying, somebody touch me. It must have been the hand of my Lord. Glory, glory, glory. Somebody touch me. Glory, glory, glory. Somebody touch me. Glory, glory, glory. Somebody touch me. It must have been the hand of my Lord. While I was praying, somebody touch me. While I was praying, somebody touch me. While I was praying, somebody touch me. It must have been the hand of my Lord. Glory, glory, glory. Somebody touch me. Glory, glory, glory. Somebody touch me. Glory, glory, glory. Somebody touch me. It must have been the hand of my Lord. Glory, glory, somebody touch me. Glory, 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 somebody touch me. Glory, 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 somebody touch me. It must have been the hand of my Lord. It must have been the hand of my Lord. I'd like to do one more tune here and let you all stretch your leg. I'd like to do a song that most fiddle players don't like to do because they do it all the time, but I enjoy doing this tune because the guy did a, several records when he wrote this tune in 1934. Most people didn't know about it. And each one of us takes certain breaks on all these instruments. We started off with a banjo, and it takes about a half an hour to play it. We'll play it about three times as fast. It won't take as long. Then we'll take a little break. We'll come back if y'all are still around. We'll play some more. This is called, you've never heard this song, the Orange Blossom Special, have you? You've never heard that, have you? We break bad on it. We try to show off on all these instruments. Each one of us takes a break, and we sound, try to sound different. Boy, you look more like you do now than you did a while ago, Chris. <laughs> I gotta have a little fun. Can you hear it okay? Yeah. <laughs> See, you're wise, too wise. Yeah, you got too wise. Yeah, you show sure it.
Hear that banjo put some hurt on this thing. like a Tennessee wall stunner. What do you want? You want your mama? Now say I want a drink of water. What'd you say? Say you gonna get fat say say mule train. Mule train, clip deep flop over the hills and range. 
soon we'll reach the dark. Clippity clap, clippity clap, clippity clap in the dawn. Oh, be a woe boy, ounce, 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 woe boy. I'm in Paris. I bet my face is red as my shirt, ain't it? Okay, you ain't gonna talk, you get fancy for these folks, all right? It's all right. 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 Ooh. Okay, you get real fast, quiet, and fancy. Give me a little more volume on that mic. I got to get that funny note. (laughs) 